Hello again, I am Blunty, obligatory begging section to interact with this video in some way. Give it a thumb, leave, give it a good comment. If you haven't subbed yet, do that. If you have subbed and you have a bell, please do that. All the things, blah de blah de blah. Let's get on to the content. Pokemon Snap, a Pokemon spin-off game based not around capturing Pokemon and enslaving them in an endless series of combat engagements, but instead built around capturing Pokemon in photographic form. Passively. Kindly. Gently, relaxingly, but you can also throw fruit at them if they're not paying you enough attention because, well, that's a, that's a good lesson for kids, isn't it? Hmm. In any case, Pokemon Snap first came out on the Nintendo 64 back in the day, but it's now made its way to a remake or a reboot or a sequel or some squishy existence between any of those terms on, of course, the Nintendo Switch. Back in the Nintendo 64 days, some stores uh, in certain regions of the world, they had Pokemon Snap stations where you could take your N64 memory unit, plug it into the station and print out physical copies of your favorite in-game snaps. But with the new Pokemon Snap game, you can still print physical copies of your favorite snaps. But this time around, Nintendo have a little something more convenient. They're working with Fujifilm on a special Pokemon-themed mini photo printer that connects directly to your phone. Theoretically, it could connect directly to the Nintendo Switch because it supports Bluetooth, as does the printer itself. But the Bluetooth on the Nintendo Switch is so locked down you can't even connect headphones to it. So yeah, don't hold your breath on that one, I guess. But I do happen to have one of those printers right here. This isn't new technology. It's not even a new model of printer, as a matter of fact. It's just they've slapped the Pokemon name on an existing printer. In fact, this one I have sitting right in front of us right now, I actually ordered, rather wildly coincidentally, about a week before the Pokemon-themed package was even announced. So it's been a little while since I checked in on the Instax world, and I felt like taking a fresh look, and it's just through wild, bizarre coincidence that it happened to align with some Pokemon stuff, too. For about a decade now, Fujifilm have been making a bunch of different cameras based around the miniature copycat of classic Polaroid instant film. They called it Instax Mini, and it works quite nicely. Back in 2013, I reviewed this, the Instax Mini 8, a basic instant camera that uses the film. They were quite popular and still are quite popular, and you can still buy them today, as a matter of fact. A year or so later, I reviewed this, the Instax Mini 90, a slightly more sophisticated camera for the film with a few more functions and abilities and capabilities abilities and I liked it quite a lot. In fact, I got one for myself and have used it in my personal life. But one question I got repeatedly on the reviews of these cameras was, how do I save photos that I take to my phone? Or how can I print a photo from my phone onto this? See, some people, young people, people who have never known anything but digital, couldn't seem to grasp that this was an entirely analog process. There's no digital sensor here. There's there's no memory card or anything. There's nothing more than light coming through a lens, hitting a bunch of light sensitive chemicals on a paper and then squishing out through a pair of rollers, which squidges across some more chemicals on the film to stop it being light sensitive. There's no digital file here to print or save or copy. These are instant cameras, not printers, not in any sense of the word. But Instax saw the confusion around this. They heard people baffled by the concept of not being able to print out one of their mobile phone pictures on their printer camera thingy. So they started making a device that could take a digital image and project that light onto the light-sensitive Instax mini film and squidge it out and bam, the Fujifilm SP1 Instax Share was born. I reviewed this too when it first came out and I liked it too. But unlike the cameras, I never got one of my own. In any case, the Instax Mini Link here, the exact same printer you will get in the Pokemon Edition pack, the only real difference is it comes with a silicon Pikachu you slap over the top of it, because, hey, that's fun. But this is the descendant of that original SP1 Instax Share printer. It's the same basic technology, just made smaller and I think a bit faster as well. Now, as I record this video, Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo Switch is still a few days away from launch, so I'm using some other game screenshots to demo it here, but the process for Pokemon Snap is going to be the same. Images will be copied from the Switch to your phone over a local Wi-Fi by scanning a QR code the Switch will present you with, which will automatically connect your phone's browser to the Switch via a direct Wi-Fi connection, and then display the images in your browser so you can save them to your camera roll and then print them from the Instax app. It's all a bit clumsy, frankly, too many steps and go-between stages, but it works well enough. It would have worked better if they had just figured out a way to use the Bluetooth chip on the Nintendo Switch to connect directly to the printer, but whatever. Nintendo's got a Nintendo. And the photos you get are, as you can see, quite nice, actually.
Here's a pile of test prints I made for the original reviews. These haven't been stored especially carefully or in an album or in a book or anything. They're just thrown, literally thrown in a box, loose in a box. I think there was a rubber band around them at one time, but that rubber band has since decayed and fallen away. Uh, and there was a bunch of other junk in the box, toys and bits and pieces and figures and whatnot. And they weren't in sleeves or anything. And I did this quite deliberately because I wanted to see how well they would put up with that kind of treatment over time. And this is a good opportunity to show you. As you can see, they're pretty robust, actually. They've not visibly faded or been roughed up by my careless treatment of them and storage. Uh, basically, so long as you don't leave them in direct sunlight, these prints will last. Well, uh, these ones have lasted, what, seven, eight years so far? So, yeah, pretty decent. But as I did just gloss over there, don't leave them in direct sunlight because direct sunlight will bleach these out over time. So, if you're wondering about the Instax printer, or if the Pokemon one might be a nice toy for the Pokemon fan in your life, even the grown-up ones like me who also just happen to love photography and screenshots in games and whatnot, and gadgets, <laughs> yeah, easy recommendation. It works really nicely. You can trust Fujifilm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever been disappointed in a Fujifilm's thing, whether it be anything from their basic little Instax printer suit all the way up to their several thousand dollars worth of cameras and whatnot. Fujifilm. You know, they, they, they know how to do camera stuff and image stuff, so it's pretty trusty. Do keep an eye on the operating costs, though, because the paper packs come in slips of 10 that snap into the printer. Uh, they're usually sold in pairs of more, so you buy 20 at a time, basically. And costs work out to about a dollar a photo if you buy them at list price. But you'll very, very often find them on sale, particularly on places like Amazon, or in larger packs of 40 or 50 or more. So you wind up saving some money if you buy them that way, if you are going to be printing a lot. And if you're worried about buying too many at once, they do store very well too. Cool, dark place, chuck them in a drawer or something, and they'll be fine for quite some time. Uh, oh, and there's even a Pokemon version of the original Instax Mini 8 too, if your kid is into real-world photography too, by the way, or you're going to try and get them into real-world photography. So there you go, a little quick once-over of the Instax Mini Link printer, the same one you get in the Pokemon pack. Is it worth it? Yes. Is it nice? Yes. Is it going to last? Yes. It's pretty good. Thank you very much for watching. I am Blunty. You think it was always to the patrons scrolling up above there too. I do appreciate your above and beyond support. Uh, and to the rest of you, thanks at least for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully you've done the sub and the bell and the thumb and the comment along the way. Catch you next time.